All right, today I'm gonna try to do powders and highlighters. If it doesn't, if it seems to go a little longer, I'm going to just skip the highlighters because we're gonna start with the setting powders. And these, I think I'm just gonna go through and make sure the texture is still good. This is the Believe one from the dollar store. It's still good. This one is fairly new. Yeah, the texture's still good. This is almost gone, so I'm going to put this over here for um, project pan type thing. This is the pure one. It feels good. No odd scent. It's like a pressed powder. This air spun, I don't use it. I like it. It's just a lot and I don't use it so I think I'm gonna declutter this one it's a really good powder so and this is bye bye pores I got the loose one but this one is almost empty so we'll put that in a pan this is the color pop no filter still good AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. This is yellow. I don't use the yellow one. Yeah, this is banana powder. All right, this is the e.l.f. Luminous Soft Luminance. And it's got like a tint to it. Like a, it's got a little bit of a sparkle. I don't know if y'all could see that. It's got the little bit of sparkle, and I love this about this. Pour the powder here, and I do. This is my other e.l.f. one. This should be sheer. Yeah, this is sheer. And it's still good. I need to open them up, pour them in, and then shut them on some of these that can shut. This is an e.l.f. Um... I think this is an under eye type powder. I don't know. That's like an orange color. It's like a color correcting. It's for under eye, I believe, but it doesn't say peach medium tone. Yeah, this is an under eye one. I'm gonna put it in the declutter. This is a Laura Mercier one I just got. It's a sample size, basically. The Revlon Candid. I love this, the way this shuts. I believe this is fairly new also. You know, it might be easier to do this because I know there's one in here that's here for a while. This one, I haven't used it. It's a pink tinted powder and I love it. It still smells good. And it does blend out to where it's not pink anymore but I don't use it so I'm gonna give it a new home all right this one is derma blend this is a sample size as well the cover effects the Ulta Beauty HD setting powder little sample you know what I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Ulta Beauty one um this one's bad. Remember when we used it last time? The makeup looked odd. This is that Becca. Wait a minute. Is this the Hydra Mist? Oh, no. This is different. Okay. I got rid of the Hydra Mist and set. All right. This isn't bad. This is new. All right. The Tarte one is fairly new. Another e.l.f. one. This is the Sheer. So, what's the difference? This one's Sheer. But this one's like truly sheer. So, and this one is, what is going on? Huh. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, this is one I made myself. I need to relabel it. I need to put it over here. I took some powders I had and made my own powder. That's sheer. This is LA Girl. LA Colors, it feels, huh, 
we'll keep that. Okay, this one I like and I still use all the time. This one is my favorite one, although when you look online, it says it has flashback, and it probably does. But how much is actually left in here? If you needed to know how to open it carefully, you don't want to fling powder everywhere. You hold underneath here, and you move it up. Okay, still got a lot left. But I have so many powders that I forget about some of these. All right, the It Cosmetics, I love this one. This is Finishing Powder High Glass. This is that NYX one. I never reach for it, but it's a really good powder. But I'm gonna give it to someone or sell it, whatever, that it could, um, that will actually use it. This, um, Super Stay Powder Foundation by Maybelline. I never reach for it. Ulta Beauty Adjustable Coverage Foundation. Okay. It's still good. Let's keep that one. I got rid of the other one. And this is Maybelline Fit Me 220 Set and Smooth. It's got the little sponge. I did not know it had the little sponge. These little sponges are great. It has a mirror too. But you take this little sponge and you put your powder on it. And you can pat under the eye sometimes. And get a lot of coverage. And then, um, and on the cheeks. It's really good. And then this is the matte and poreless one. In a different color. And there's no sponge underneath there. There are two separate kinds of powders. Okay, those stay over there. This is, I even have a backup. This is one of my new favorites. This is the um, Physician's Formula Natural Defense Powder with sunscreen in it. It smells so good. But that's one of my new favorites. I even have a backup. Color Mates. It's got a pinky tone to it, don't it? Hmm. We'll get rid of that one. Ciate, this is new. This I got in a boxy charm. Physician's Formula. This is the Argon Wear. I love this also. I love the um, Physician Formula um, powders. They have this has like a perfumey smell, but I love it. Too Faced um, Born This Way powder. I just recently got this. Just recently got this. Just recently opened this. This is Makeup Revolution Translucent Setting Powder. And I believe, okay, no. It had a thing I forgot to put back in it, but it has a mirror. But it had a little thing that you were supposed to stick in there. I forgot to put it back. This is the one I opened the other day, Revolution Pro. It looks like the Hydro Mist and, Re and Refresh by, um, what's her name? Um, Becca? Yeah, this is Hydro Matte Powder, and it worked pretty good. This is new. This is a cover effects. This is the Under Eye Powder by um, e.l.f., and I don't use this anymore. So we're going to put it over there. This is AOA Setting Powder. This should be the new, the clear one. Yeah. So we're going to keep that one. Morphe Setting Powder. Fairly new. Keeping that one. Rimmel Stay Matte. I never reach for this one anymore. Ah. Let me see if I can feel the texture on this powder because it seems like it was. Okay, it's still good. And it's still got a lot left, so it would be better for me to just get rid of it. Yes, Eric. Mommy's going to fill up your cup. All right. Pause for a second. We're going to fill up Eric's milk cup. Because when I was in the room with him, he didn't want any milk. But now that I'm doing this, he does. Okay. Powders are so easy to go through because it's just a matter of what I use, what I think I'm going to use, and what I'm not going to use. This is the Milani one. See how easily it moves down there? 
Let's see. It's still good. I need to open it up and move it in there, but do I use this? I don't really reach for it. Still good. We're gonna keep it. Nyx can't stop, won't stop. I don't think I like this one. See if it opens up so I can see how much is actually left. Yeah, it does. It still has a good feel to it. I just don't use it. I don't find myself reaching for it. And then the lid, it actually keeps it closed. So, I mean, it's a good powder. Catrice Nude Illusion, is this the second one I've had? I think it is, because it's one of my favorites. I love the fine powders like this. All right, so on the, on the um, face powders, we're getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and actually, I believe, where did that little guy go? There he is. Is this the same powder? Translucent light. Translucent light. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this little guy. So, I'm not going to recount. <laughs> the Elf, there's two separate ones. There's a luminous one and the other one I made myself, so I might just throw it away because I mixed some stuff in it together. And I don't think it worked the way I wanted. So, yeah, actually, we're going to get rid of this one. So, add one. I can't remember what I said. All right, so there's that. Highlighters. This is going to be fun. How many minutes are we? Okay. This one's hard because I love highlighters. Um, let me actually stop the video so I can put these powders away, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now for the declutter of the highlighters. This was, I situated some of these because I knew that there were some that were brand new and some I wasn't getting rid of. Um, so, like, um, this sleek one is basically brand new. I'm going to smell this Cover FX one. It's still good. It's like a little dropper. I use this to mix with foundation sometimes. This AOA pink one, baby, glow baby. Um, it's dried out. I didn't know that until just now. This is my only Catrice highlighter, so if I do a full face of Catrice... I want to make sure to have that. That's a soft highlighter. It's really good for normal days where you don't want a lot. This is my only Dose of Colors highlighter. It is in the shade Milk and Honey. It's really pretty. I don't know if y'all could see that. It's right there. Let me do this. It's a really pretty one. These are brand new. These are the e.l.f. ones. This is my e.l.f. and Heart Defensor one. My second one, Eric broke the first one when he had a fit one day, but I don't know how to, might have to start swatching on this hand because I could go like that. This is my only Juvia's Place one and I love it and it's going to last so freaking long because most of the time when I use it, I only use out of the lid, but look at that. She has beautiful highlighters. Can y'all see that? There we go. Let me turn this slide up. All right, and look, 
barely made a dent because you don't even have to really touch the other side. This is my only pretty vulgar highlighter. I just got it. It's really pretty. I happen to like the, um, the goldy tint ones. This is the Revlon um, Skin Lights. This is the only Revlon one I have. And I really do love that. It's like another light tint. This is the only Kylie highlighter I have. This is an Ice Me Out. Let me see if I could turn this so y'all could see this better. This light. I don't know. Yeah, you could kind of see it. I'm going to clean my hands. Let me pull this down. There we go. Move that back that direction. We're going to clean our hands of powders and highlighters. All right. This is my favorite Morphe highlighter individual one. This is called Spark. You see that? I love that highlighter. So I'm keeping that one. Sleek makeup one I just got and I love these. There's two cream ones. No, one cream one. One cream. These are so pretty. Look at that. Such a good highlighter. I love that. And the um, liquid was a sleek. This liquid one was sleek. <coughs> this is my favorite one I got this. I can't remember when I got this. This is Artist Couture in um, Illuminati. It is such, you see that? Such a pretty color. And it's the um, powder highlights, if you use them, if you want a highlighter that's going to last you a really long time, I would suggest um, the powder ones. It looks like it says 16 months, but this one I haven't opened yet. This is the other Artist Couture. This is in Lickable. This is my only LA Girl one. This is Strobe Light in 40 Watt. It took me forever to pick one out. So, and this is a good one that I could put over my blush if I want my highlight to just be on my blush. So that's what I really liked about that one. Of course, Amra Stain. This was pretty penny. And it is stunning. I wish they would put that back out because I would love to buy one for y'all. This is brand new. This is Too Faced. It's the um, Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette. I believe it's called Scoops. I don't see a name on here. But I think it was called Scoops. It looks like that. And we got this color, this color, and that color. They are very beautiful. They look like a Neapolitan ice cream when you look at it. I was going to show y'all this one. I have a lot in these shades. This is the um, Elf and Nabla Noir collection. And I love the lipstick. And if I'm going to be honest with myself, I'm not going to use this that often. I have so many in the same kind of shade. And it's not open. So I'm going to go ahead and give this away. In one of the giveaways coming up. I'm putting it in the declutter pile. Alright, moving on to this one. This is my only CoverGirl one. It's got two shades for highlight. And it smells like chocolate. And it's got a bronzer shade. So it's a good like face kind of palette. And it's my only one, so I'm basically got to keep it at this point um master chrome by maybelline these are my favorites um drugstore ones i believe like actual drugstore that you go to walmart and get this is um 250 i don't I, they have numbers i believe this one is 100 
this one is the Puma one. It's limited edition. It's like a really pretty gold and purple. Is that all my? I thought I had more than that. Guess not. Okay. Um, this one is Makeup Revolution Reloaded Highlighter. Just my type. It's like a gold color. I think this is the one that I thought was kind of... No, it's not. It's too light. I love Makeup Revolution highlighters. You could get them on their website. And you could get them on um, Ulta. But I love them. They are so... Like, these highlighters are like $4. And you could sometimes find them at... Um, What's that place called? Marshalls. This one is one of my favorites. This is Luna. I've actually bought this a few times, even for y'all. I think there's one in this back to school giveaway. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid. You could tell I've had this for a minute. You see the, the name is all off. This is the Vivid Radiant Lights. And it's still soft. And it's literally soft glow. Uh, this is the strobe highlighter in holographic lights. It like shifts to green. It's really pretty. I think that's all my Makeup Revolution ones. Oh no, there's one right there. This might be the one that I thought was like a sort of a dupe for the Anastasia one. I'm still trying to find the perfect dupe. Honestly, this is in Gold Addict. Let's put it next to the Amrezi um, one and see. Nah, that other one might be. Hold on. I thought it was darker than that. That is kind of close. It's just two different tones. This is the Reloaded Just My Type. All right, now we are going to the NYX, if I can find, okay, this I just got. This is the Body Shimmer. And there's a NYX, NYX. It's Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild, there should be another Wet and Wild. I don't know where it's at. I'm trying to put them together. Actually got rid of a lot. Let's go ahead and just get this over with. This is Elf Pearl Glow. I had a lot of Elf highlighters. I've gotten rid of a lot of Elf highlighters. And that's that one. <coughs> but I love Elf highlighters. I just wanted to keep the ones that I knew I would use, if that makes any sense. All right. And there's still some over here. Um, this is High Glass. This is a cream. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I'm not even going to touch it again. It's High Glass by NYX. This is Machinist. And I like these, but I can't remember. See, they're, they look darker than what they are when you put them on your skin. But part of me feels like these should have been um, eyeshadows. I don't know. It's just not my speed, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Um, this one is Born to Glow. It's like a little brick. And this one, I believe, is, yeah, that's my favorite NYX highlighter. So we're keeping that one. These I got from Shop Miss A. This one is by Sanity. It doesn't say, I think there's just numbers also. So there's that one right there. I don't know if yeah, you can see it. And then this one's like a pinky toned one. It's really pretty as well. So I'm keeping both of those. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. <laughs> And my fingers because I don't like mixing colors and after so many fingers you have to wipe it off okay this one is highlighting powder pow lighters what it calls it look at that this is by the actual AOA brand look how shiny my hands are we're gonna take 
what's in the lid. Look at that. Do y'all see that? That's a dollar. No lie, that's a dollar. That's a dollar highlighter. And it is freaking gorgeous. So of course I'm keeping it. All right, and then we have Ofra. This one is the Rodeo Drive. I believe I have more than this. I don't know where it's at. Maybe I need to look in the drawer again. Well, I have the ones that are over. Um, and another thing, I'm not getting rid of the Samantha Marks case one. But I thought I had another small one. Guess not. That one's staying. <laughs> then we have the Physician Formula. This one is the Murmur Butter Highlighter. And it doesn't say what color. Mm. Iridescence. It's like a purple shift. On this one. Oh, see that? That is so pretty. But... Technically, I only need one, so we're going to see which one I want to keep. This one is in pearl. I think I'm going to keep the pearl one. I want to keep them both, but I don't reach for them both, and I would hate for them to go bad. But this, I love that purple back and forth. But I have to be honest, am I actually going to put this purple on my uh, face too much so all right becca i mean not becca laura geller we have the island uh, alanizer and then we have this one and then we have this one this is new so there's that one these are like two different tones of gold You see that? Are they? You know what? They are close enough. Let me see if I even like this sparkle shade. You know what? We're going to declutter this one. We're going to keep Alanizer. And then we got Opal Haze, Champagne Toast, and Moon Dust. So, Moon Dust, that looks similar to the one we just got rid of by. Um, Okay, I can't remember. We're going to keep this one. We already got rid of one that had the purple shifts, the physician's formula. So we're going to keep that one. All right, now we have Milani. I have two Milani highlighters. This one is Strobe Light. And this one is Hypnotic Light. See, when you look at this one, you would think it was, like, going to have a purple shift or something. But it has, like, a rose shift, which I like. So, we're going to keep both of those. This is Flexitarian. Everybody said it was so great, so I wanted to try it. And I don't use it. So, we're going to go ahead and declutter that one. No, this is Lunch Money. This isn't Flexitarian. This is Lunch Money. But... I don't reach for it. It's a cream, and for me, the cream highlighters don't work real well. They're nice, but they don't work that well for me. This is Wet n Wild um, Blossom Glow. Then we have Hello Halo Blush Lighter. We have a purple one. We have another one. This one is Winter Falls in L.A., this one is Caught in Your Web. This one is Purple Ashes. The blush lighters, I love these. So that one's staying. This Blossom one. I like that one also. This Purple one, Purple Ashes. I'm gonna say Declutter. I'm trying to be cutthroat because, like, on the lipsticks, and it wasn't cutthroat. So, I need to be cutthroat. Um, this one, Winter Falls in L.A. That's just a... That's a maybe. Um, this one is Caught in Your Web. 
It's a lighter purple than the other one. Let me grab my highlighting brush and see what happens when I put it on with the brush. Y'all can't see, let's do it this way. I can't tell what's gonna happen when I put it on, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and declutter that one and keep this one. This is the Laura Geller um, Dew Dreamer highlighting drops that I use quite often. This is Desi Dangerous and Morphe, another purple one. Purple is my favorite color and then when I put it on my face, I just can't seem, but I know I have one somewhere. Okay, that's like a more of a pinky purple. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that one. Stila. It's a cream one. We've all, I've already said what I felt about cream. But this is also the only Stila highlighter I have. But Heaven to You highlighter, Magnificence. <sighs> Sorry, you gotta go. I don't reach for you. All right. These are a collection that Jason got me. I'm keeping all of them because he. I told, he told me there was a ColourPop collection coming out and all of a sudden they came in the mail. So these have like sentimental value. This one is um, Dr. Meet Me on the Other Side, Dr. I can't even say his name. It's like a gold color. Then this one is Hades and it's like a goldy type color also, but slightly lighter. This one is um, Cruella. I gotta press that in there. Okay, what's going on? I don't think it's gold, so let me go ahead and run this finger over that. Nope, it's a goldy color. All right, and then we have Maleficent. That one came apart as well if you watched my unboxing of it y'all know a lot of these came in the mail broke this one is the evil queen it's like a light a natural gold and this one is ursula this one's purple and it's also broke but it's a light purple I'm gonna put that back over the top. Oh, I almost broke it. Okay, those are staying and I'm not gonna throw them in there because, you know, they're all a little broke. <laughs> all right, next, I smelt these earlier. These are bad. This is High Beam by Benefit and Sunbeam. They're bad. This is um, Halo, Hello Halo, Liquid Highlighter by Wet n Wild. And I believe, yeah, this is fairly new. I keep putting it right up on my nose. This is really good for like the upper corner highlight. And like if you're not going to wear like any real foundation or anything and you just want to put like... Like, if you're not going to put a lot of powder products on top of your foundations, this is an Hourglass Champagne Flash. I've had this for a while. I got it sent to me for free from um, Influencer. Look at that. That I like to put underneath my foundation sometimes when I just want a nice glowy look. LA Colors. How did hair get in here? LA Colors, this almost looks like it's bad. This is a liquid shimmer highlight. Ew, it is bad. That just shot out like a lot of clear gel. 
Okay, so that one's bad. <laughs> All right, this is the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. I don't think this is actually a highlighter. I think this is a primer, so it's technically in the wrong box. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that back on, put it over here. Then we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid, and it's still good. Some of these, like when you don't, if you don't want to wear liquid foundation, liquid um, highlighters, they're not my favorite, but they are great for when you want that subtle glow from underneath and you don't have a glowy um, or luminous primer. And sometimes the luminous primers aren't exactly what you want. You want just a little bit more glow. Um, these are great for putting underneath your makeup. Fenty Beauty Matchstick. I think I'm going to declutter that one. I don't reach for it. All right. I'm going to throw that one away. All right. This one is a, y'all know what this is, right? For the lashes. Okay. And then we have LA Girl. Oh, I do have a LA Girl, another LA Girl. Ooh. Okay. This is LA Girl Sunkissed Powder Highlight. It's really pretty. You know what? Let's go ahead and. That hand had a lot of liquid highlighter on it. There you go. <laughs> so we're just gonna get him highlighter all over. Then we have, okay, we have Becca. This one is Champagne Pop. We're keeping that one. We have another Becca. This one is in Moonstone. These are sample size ones. They are so pretty. I love them. And with highlighters, if you can find a sample size one, I would say get it because they last forever. I don't think I'll ever be able to pan a highlighter. This is Laura Lee Los Angeles Sweet and Saucy. dry our hand and then take it again there we go it's really pretty I love her highlighters I need to get the bronzed collection that she came out with and I love that these shut so they don't get any air in there to dry them out and then this one is the warm and toasty cool there's some right there that I could use they are really really pretty I love these but because I have so many highlighters I never reach for them I just grab the one that's on top I need to start planning it out and I didn't shut this one hopefully that's still good this one let me shut it Okay, this one is Sugar and Spice. I'm keeping all three of those. This is the Wet n Wild powder, found, um, powder highlighters. This one is in You Glow Girl. I think it's a purple tinted one. Let me dry my hand. All right. And then this one is I'm So Lit. They're both very beautiful. So we're gonna keep both of those. And I only have one Cody Airspun highlighter. I bought all three, but I gave some to y'all 
for a giveaway, I believe. And it's like a light gold. See it on the knuckles? Let me see if I can put it. There we go. So I'm keeping that one. Because I only have one. All right. So there's those. We'll put Laura Lee right here. All right. I'm not sure how I had that before that it actually worked, but we'll do it that way. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy, you know what? There's seven. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna count how many I kept because this is full. We're gonna count how many I'm decluttering and I'm gonna throw away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen. 14. So I got rid of 14. I'm pretty sure I kept 100. And I may go back because I haven't even got to the face palettes because I have a lot of face palettes. And if I see colors in face palettes that um, I could use that can replace one of the, like if I have, like I have a, a wet, a um, face palette that is Makeup Revolution. So if all the colors I kept here is in that face palette, I will go ahead and declutter all these. Does that make sense? I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it's so long. I just wanted to do two. The last drawer in this little thing right here is um, bronzers and blushes, and we will be doing that tomorrow, hopefully. Or I'll record it tomorrow and we'll do it Monday. Do y'all want Friday chit chat or do you want me to keep going with this? So I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.